All right, so now let's take a look at a different kind of binomial, difference of cubes. So x cubed minus y cubed, that's what we want to look at next. How can we visualize that? A cube? Oh well, yes, you can visualize a cube. Here's an x by x by x cubed. What does it mean to minus a y cubed? That means take a y cubed, take a, another smaller cube out of this cube. Let's visualize, if you remove this piece, how we can put this together back. So let's visualize this in another way. So remember, all the way from here to here is x. So if I remove this y cubed out, I'm removing this piece out. So I'm only left with from here to here. Just remember that. So let's put these shapes together. So I have a rectangular prism here, and what is its volume? x times x times x minus y. So that's my first um, rectangular prism here. Let's add another one in front of it. Let's say this is my y, and from here to here it's x minus y. So what's the volume of this rectangular prism? It'll be y times x times x minus y. Right? So x minus y times x times y is the volume of this rectangular prism. Let's add this one here. Can you see how the y cubed is left out? So that would be y times y, which is y squared, times x minus y. So x minus y times y squared is that. And what is the result of this addition then? Can you see? Do you remember what that was? That was our x cubed minus y cubed, isn't it? But also, look at when you add all these terms, what happens? They all share an x minus y. That's the greatest common factor. And then you're left with x squared plus xy plus y squared. And it all adds up to x cubed minus y cubed. Can you see that? So x cubed minus y cubed is going to be x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared. This would be very good to memorize. Difference of cubes factors as x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared. And that's because of how we put these pieces together. You can see how the y cubed is missing from here. So we have x cubed minus y cubed. It's made up of one, two, three, three rectangular prisms. All right, let's see if we can use the formula now. So again, we have to do a cubed minus b cubed would be what? Our formula, we have to remember x cubed minus y cubed was x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared. So we're just substituting a for x and b for y and rewriting it. So now, what are we going to do here? Again, same setup. Anytime you have factoring, the first thing to do is see if you can factor out greatest common factor out. And if you can do that, then continue the rest. So this is difference of cubes. So again, we're going to write difference of cubes. And this is our formula. So all you have to do is fill in the blanks. So what are you going to have here? 8x cubed. Who's cubed is 8x cubed? So really, you're taking cube root of 8x cubed. And you already know how to do that, so that will be 2x. So 2x will go there, and there, and there. Then cube root of 27y cubed, that will be 3y. 3y will go there, and there, and there. So final answer will be that. I want to show you something. So if you don't actually memorize that formula, but you remember that the first term, if this is x cubed minus y cubed, is x minus y and you get this 2x minus 3y, then this term is the following. 2x times what number is going to give you 8x cubed? Well, 2 times 4 is going to give you 8, and x times x squared is going to give you x cubed. So 2x times 4x squared is going to give me 8x cubed. Similarly, negative 3y times a positive 9y squared is going to give me negative 27y squared. Once you have the first two terms, the first and the last term in the second bracket can be gotten just by looking at 2x times what is that number? Negative 3y times what number gives me negative 27y cubed. And then the middle number is multiplication of those two. 
2 times 3 is 6, and x times y is xy. If this is a minus sign, then this is a plus sign. So that's some, uh, if you make some of those connections, maybe it will make it easier to memorize that formula. All right, try this one again. Factor our greatest common factor first. That's always your first step. So let's do that. And then it's difference of cubes. So what should we put here? x. So I'll go x. We'll go here, here, and here. What about here? Cube root of 8 is 2. So 2y, and then 2y, 2y, and 2y. And then simplify x squared, 2xy, 2 squared is 4y squared is y squared. Once you have this term, then x times x squared is my x cubed. And negative 2y times positive 4y squared is going to give me negative 8y cubed. And then the middle term is going to be the product of those two. And if that's a minus, then that's a plus. All right, try this next one on your own. OK? So again, the important part is to have this formula. Memorize this formula. If I woke you up from sleep, you should be able to spit that formula out. That's how uh, much mastery you should have with these formulas. Normally, I tell you how you don't have to rote memorize it. But these formulas, it will be beneficial to you if you memorize it, because it will make solving problems, uh, especially in your next class, much easier if you remember these formulas. All right, let's try factoring a sum of cubes. Here's my x cubed, here's my y cubed. I'm going to redraw this and come up with x cubed plus y cubed in a different manner. So pay very careful attention. I have the whole back filled in all the way from top to bottom. So that would be x plus y all the way from here to here. It's x plus y times x times x. That's the volume of this blue rectangular prism that's in the back there. All right, then take this piece right here. So that's this front and this back here together. That rectangular prism is going to have volume of x plus y times y times y, which is y squared. So that's that part. Now remember, it's only this y cubed in the front that we want. We don't want this whole bottom piece. So let's bring that in. That green piece we need to remove to get just x cubed plus y cubed. So remove would mean minus. So let's minus take it away. right? So this green piece, we want to take it away. So to do that, if you took that away, then this is how it would look, which is what we want. So that would be minus x plus y times xy, and then we'll get what we want. So look again. So we had x cubed plus y cubed. We added that and that. And then we saw that the bottom back needs to be removed. And so that's this part. So remove that, and then we have what we want. OK? Now, look at the formula that jumps out of here then x plus y is greatest common factor, and you're left with x squared minus xy plus y squared. It's very similar to the difference of cube formula. The only difference being, instead of subtraction here, we have a plus. Then this is a plus, and this is a minus. So everything remains the same except for the sign here. If this is a plus, then that's a plus. And if this is a plus, then that's a minus. So that's the formula for factoring sum of cubes. So remember that as well. And try these on your own. Now you are a little bit familiar on how to use the existing formula. So here's the formula. Pay careful attention and finish it off. So you're replacing the 2x's and the 3y's into the formula. Again, remember how I showed you how to do that with uh, 
difference of cubes, you can do the same here. 2x times 4x squared will give me 8x cubed. 3y times positive 9y squared will give me 27y cubed. And the middle term is a product of those two. And if this is a plus, this is a minus. If this is a minus, this is a plus. That's how you can do sum or differences of cubes. Factor out the greatest common factor first, and then apply the formula. So what you put here, x. So if x goes there, it will go here and here and here. What about here? 2y. So 2y will go here, here, and here, and then finish it off. Do the next one on your own. Pause the video, please. So again, you have to be able to rewrite this. If you rewrite that, then it's just a matter of applying the formula. So memorize the formula and then try these problems. Try these on your own.